Hello everyone, this is Icona Kona, and here I'm defending as a spy on Payload Badwater. Now, I'm using the Conniver's Kunai, which is a pretty interesting knife. Now, if you don't know, uh, with this knife you start off with 60 health, but with every backstab, you actually absorb six times the health of the person you just backstabbed, and anything above 60 is uh, kind of like an overheal. Um, so you don't you don't continue to have a lot of health, but it's still really useful. So here, starting off with a really nice uh, a nice quad right on the cart, which like never happens. So I'm I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, cloak and retreat, and try to you know calm down and just get like an easy kill on this sniper, and then back away. But this knife, uh, it's actually I found it's very very useful. Uh, that health buff is actually useful for getting out of really, really sticky situations. Now, I, I missed there, so I didn't really have that health, but uh, once, you get, uh, once you get a backstab on a fully healed person, you get 180 health maximum, and that's usually enough to escape if you're spotted. And so here, I'm, I'm picking a nice little corner to, uh, to decloak, and... Um, now I'm doing a bit of acting because I actually thought that the blue team pushed up a little further and so uh, that, that's one of the things about acting as a spy is that it's kind of a high risk high reward thing because when you're acting near the enemy you don't really want to look at the enemy and so it's it's kind of like you're taking a risk there you, you're, you're, you don't really know where they are so but you don't want to look back because if you look back they'll get suspicious and start shooting you and so it, it's kind of like a, it's a trade off it's a high risk high reward thing so here on the rooftop, uh, this rooftop is very, very important for holding this second point. And uh, our engineers do a great job of holding it. Um, they actually, what they do is they actually put teleporters on the top of the vents on the top of the rooftop. And uh, that teleporter is not very easy to destroy. And so we can have a constant stream of our teammates uh, coming to the rooftop. So here, uh, get the medic and the pyro. Uh, luckily no one spotted me and I retreat back to the rooftop. Now playing as spy on this map, especially on the second point, uh, it's good to know the back routes up to the roof and that's this area around here. And not too many people use it, but uh, as a spy, let's say you're attacking as a spy, uh, you can. It's, this back route is very very useful for getting around the enemy and up to the rooftop so you can zap any buildings on the roof. Now unfortunately there that pyro kind of caught me off guard and got me, but uh, that's okay. Um, those teleporters get me right back onto the roof. So uh, coming out here, I see this this heavy who's not really paying attention. So um, I just kind of come over here, get a quick backstab, cloak back, and now I see these two guys. And so I just decloak behind this wall so that they don't see me, and I go in for the kill. And right here, I just get this uh, this soldier, but this entry gets that demo man. Now here, here's a, a spy ng, and Really, when you see, when you see like an engine, uh, a spy who is disguised, and um, you have friendly sentries around, all you really have to do is just make him lose his disguise. Just make him shoot his gun or swing his knife, and usually your friendly sentries will take care of him. Now here, uh, these guys decide to use the back route, and I thought we had this like locked down. You know, I thought I thought we had this pretty uh, well handled. Unfortunately, this scout takes care of all of our teammates back here and I am alone with the scout and you know this is not gonna end well <laughs> and so he gets me and I call out that scout so that uh, my other teammates on the rooftop can take care of him so again back up on the rooftop that teleporter is key and it actually becomes very very useful later on in this match so I accidentally bump into this uh, this heavy here but I get the backstab anyway uh, cloak back, and I still know that there's a demo man down there, and so I use this again. I'm using this back route here to kind of uh, get behind the enemy. So disguised, I come over here, go for the kill, but I miss. But that's all right. Finish him off with the revolver and uh, cloak back again. Now here's this. Uh, here's a spy just kind of ruining everyone's day on this rooftop, and uh, it's it, it's really good that if you have sentries on the rooftop, you should also have pyros up there to spy check because one spy can get over there and just kind of ruin everyone's day by destroying all the buildings the sentry shooting down they have a huge height advantage and usually the enemy team can't advance until those sentries are down now what's strange about this map though is that the enemy team rolled right past the rooftop yet our teleporters are still on the roof 
And so that allows us to actually get the roof back. You see our engineers are actually building sentries again, and the cart is actually way past the rooftop. So I just come over here, get uh, two quick stabs on the guys in the cart, and I'm not now I'm just trying to chase down this, uh, this medic. Uh, I just I just finish him off with my revolver, but you know you gotta remember those guys are actually still on the rooftop. You can see that teleporter uh, on the top of those vents on the rooftop. That teleporter is very difficult to destroy. And if you're not if you're attacking, uh, you should always check up there to make sure that there's no teleporter up there because otherwise the defending team can always get behind you, and especially if sp uh, it allows spies to get behind you very easily. And so. Well, what actually happens is that even though the cart is like almost towards the uh, almost towards the second to the last point, we have awesome engineers here that constantly keep on building sentries and dispensers and and keeping that line actually at that rooftop. And so that's really really nice. So here I kind of miss some stabs. Uh, I get one here, and then <laughs> luckily this guy doesn't see me, so I get another one, and then I cloak back. Now, I'm pretty deep in their territory. I'm like right next to their spawn. And so it's a little dangerous. So look at this. Two heavies right in front of me. And I go for one, but unfortunately, that second heavy actually backed up. And I wasn't able to backstab him. I thought it was going to be an easy two kills. But I ended up getting killed by that engineer. And I believe the uh, by this time, that teleporter on the rooftop is already down. So the front line has actually moved to the second to the last point. So I get that stab on that demo man, and the Conniver's Kunai actually helped that time. It gave me a nice health buff to uh, to survive that heavy shooting at me. So here I decloak, and I'm kind of expecting the blue team to be kind of here, but they're not. <laughs> so uh, my acting was for nothing. Uh, so yeah, so here, um, this is a really good place to decloak, because it's right outside of the enemy's spawn, and yet uh, it, it's, it offers you a, a nice place to, to decloak without being noticed too much. So I get an easy kill on that heavy. I come here and I just decide to ignore that soldier, get this demo man, and I just kind of cloak right in front of that soldier. I don't know if he was actually uh, looking at me because he might have been AFK. Bump into this uh, sniper, and I got a retreat, and my health buff is just kind of slowly going away. Um, and I'm just trying to, I'm actually just trying to lure the other team. Uh, if I, if it looks like I'm trying to push the cart, I'm hoping that the other team will come and help me push the cart because they think I'm one of them. So here's this heavy, easy kill on this guy, and uh, and retreat. And luckily these uh, these snipers are down, and so it allows me to push even further back to their spawn. So coming out of this room, and I, again a very very nice back uh, side route to get behind them. Uh, so come back here, finish off this demo man. And again, the Kunai's Kunai helps a little bit. Uh, that soldier could have finished me off, but luckily I had that health buff to uh, to escape. So the Kunai's Kunai, pretty good weapon. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get much buff from that kill, but yeah, that's all right. Now here, this demo man, I, w <laughs> I was I wasn't sure where to go actually. I didn't want to bump into him accidentally, and I was kind of trapped on the stairs, and that. That enemy spy just came up the stairs and trapped me and killed me, so I wasn't really sure exactly what to do in that situation, uh, but that's okay. So next life, uh, the, the enemy team got the cart uh, down the hill, and so we kind of have to step up our defense. Now, this is what I like to do as spy sometimes, is I like to go into this room. Now, if you jump on this railing and you jump right here, you can actually stay on this doorway, and most people won't actually see you when, we, when you come through this doorway. Uh, they won't look up. And so here this heavy is kind of busy shooting at that guy and so I just jump down and get that stab really easily and then jump out the window. And so uh, that window, I mean that uh, that doorway to jump on actually is pretty good for just kind of like watching this room, making sure no one comes into this room and just in case someone comes in this room you can get a quick backstab and jump out the window. Now there I just missed that backstab for some reason. It was a fail backstab. But you get the idea, right? Just if you jump on that windowsill, most people won't look up, and you'll pretty much be safe for the most part. Now, in order to do this, you actually have to uh, disguise yourself as a class that can run pretty fast. And so, what I like to do is I like to di disguise myself as a pyro because pyros run pretty fast. Uh, if you disguise yourself as a heavy and try to jump, uh, you probably won't make it. So, get a quick stab on that heavy, decloak, and I come back up here. You see, I like to. I like to make sure that this room is clear because if the enemy team gets this room, it can cause a huge distraction. 
And so I'm, I'm just waiting uh, for a very, very long time. Not much is happening, so I decide, okay, well, I gotta I got do something. It's getting boring here. So uh, I come out here, I decloak, and I kind of just come out this, this room like I'm one of them. Uh, here's this medic, he's my number one priority, so I get him and I zap that sentry. And here's a whole engineer emplacement with teleporters and everything. And so I go for the teleporters first because, well, if those teleporters continue to be up, they can flank us from the side. They can, they can have a bunch of people coming from the side and they're going to surprise us. And so those teleporters are my priority right now. So, a bit of acting here, I'm just trying to lure them out, and again, it's one of those high risk, high reward things where, you know, you can't really look at the enemy because once you look at them, they'll get suspicious and they'll probably attack you. So, um, again, to this century emplacement, I try to zap it, but this soldier spots me and takes me out. And, well, unfortunately, there's a long respawn time. And there's nothing I can do, all I can do is watch as this sentry emplacement just gets completely destroyed and that heavy just pushes it and we lose unfortunately but that's okay so I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and have a nice day